Welcome back to Geology with you and we. As always, I'm your host, DJ Dissonance, but you can call me DJ. That's right. And I'm your other host, Sergeant Joel, but you can call me CJ. <laughs> For our next segment, we send our host and correspondent DJ out into the field. Let's hear from him now. Mega excellent, dude. I'm currently standing in a bodacious peat bog, dude. Whoa, where's Pete then? He's right over there, dude. Oh, hey, Pete! Oh, hey, Pete! <laughs> Excellent. Excellent! So we're actually in a peat bog because there's some truly carboniferous activities transpiring in this location. Hey, we're your geology professor alter egos. So... Peat is a highly organic form of soil that is waterlogged and low in oxygen. Its main component can be sphagnum moss. Moss. Awesome. Yeah. Peat itself is used as fuel today and also to make whiskey. Ew. Whack, Daniels. But way back, <laughs> even before the bodacious Cretaceous, <laughs> massive land plants died off and their remains were buried deep underground. That's just when the first part of the coal formation process begins and it's called then, as the peat becomes more deeply buried, it is subject to higher temperatures and more immense pressure. This is where the second part of the coal formation process, coalification, occurs. Hey, make sure you have the right qualifications to talk about. Ha <laughs> ha! We do. Excellent! There are three types of coal that can be formed during this process. Lignite, Bituminous and anthracite. Lignite is the least pure form of coal and has the most water content and lowest energy density. These hydrocarbon compounds were formed under the crust over millions of years. That's why coal is a fossil fuel. Excellent! Whoa, excellent! I wish we were that smart. Now, this geologic process is exorbitantly important to the very foundation of our modern society. At the current moment, our society is still very dependent on fossil fuels to support our economy. And one of the top dogs in the fossil fuel biz is coal. What? You mean that this stuff is burned up? Isn't it just a bunch of dead organisms cemented together through vast time and immense pressure? Exactamundo. And when we burn coal, that carbon goes way up into the atmosphere, contributing to not only global warming, but also ocean acidification and acid rain. <laughs> acid rain? Isn't that just a Jerry Garcia solo? That, and a serious buzzkill for the environment. By burning coal, we are directly killing trees, damaging soil, and killing off fish. Dude, what a most heinous note to end our program on. Most definitely, dude. To all of our viewers out there, be the change. Be the change! Excellent. Excellent! Be the change! Excellent! Green screen demo.